Good afternoon and welcome to week four. I'm David Klein and away we go. Technical elements of theater this week, such an important aspect of theater, be it educational, be it community theater, good sound, have a good sound system, fundraise, spend the money, have a good sound system because if you can't be heard from the audience point of view, then they're struggling to hear what is being said. And after all, what is theater? Theater's communication and telling a story. So spend, spend, spend the money. Fundraise, fundraise, fundraise if you have to. Lighting, keep it simple. I feel like in this age of CGI and LED lighting and backdrops and back screens, it's becoming about that versus telling the story. Um, so I'm a fan of keeping it simple. Ground plans. A ground plan, you have to have a ground plan. It goes back to doing your book work. It goes back to just tearing apart your script and making those decisions before you even get to the audition process. So know, know your ground plan. Go in the theater that you're working in and walk around, get a sense of, of what you want it to be. Bring your production team in. Remember, theater is a collaborative sport, and we're all in this together to tell the story. So bring in your set design early on for those ground plans. Um, good use of the stage. Make sure you have a good use of the stage. We've all seen those productions that it becomes a show about going over to the bar and pouring a drink or a table. So good use of your stage and, and be flexible. If something isn't working, if you have that table set stage right and you know, you're a couple weeks into your rehearsal process and you realize that it's better upstage um, or downstage or not at all, be flexible with that. That's one of the joys of theater. Balance. Um, loved this section in the chapters. There has to be balance on stage. Otherwise, it just it's uncomfortable for your audience members. And there are times within productions that you want your audience to feel uncomfortable or a little at unease. But overall, you, you want balance in your in your production, in your set, in your set design. And that, I, to me, that was such a key. Make sure that there's balance, or as I like to say, make sure that there is um, pictures on stage uh, for people to look at and make it interesting, not only for your audience members, but for your actors. Um, visual aspects, you know, I love the, uh, the the lecture or the um, in the book about spectacle and how important spectacle is. Um, I love that. Um, spectacle is important. Style. Uh, every production has a style, and you know, use it, embrace it, and figure out very early on what is the style of your production, and go with it. Use it, and it's okay to tone it down, or maybe you need more or less. I think that'll work itself out within the, the world of the rehearsal process, but you have to have an idea as that director. Music, uh, I'm a big fan of music, uh, pre-production, post-production, during the show, if you can sneak it in. I use it in my classrooms all the time. Um, it's key, it enhances the production, and it just, I love it. I work with it all the time. Um, I'm a big fan. Last but not least, get your stu parents involved. Such a great little blurb in, in the book um, that is so, so, so very important. Get that booster club. Get them in there. Yeah, you're going to have the mama roses <laughs> from time to time, but that's okay. Um, get those parents involved. Get a booster club. Get, get them helping with set painting and, and costume design because it's such a resource and such a wealth. And just for in, within the fundraising world, the parents that I've found, that I've worked with over the years, want to help. So get them involved. All right. That is all I have for this week. Everybody have a great week and we will talk soon.